I have to just say, it has been so lovely watching your career thrive, truly. Um, you have given us so many beautifully complex characters, um, and it's truly been so wonderful to watch. Thank you so much. That means the world. Thank you. Um, all right. So speaking of complex characters, I would love to know from you, how important is it um, to see women in authoritative roles, such as attorneys on screen, without having the emphasis necessarily being on gender? Oh, you know, it's so interesting. I haven't really noticed that. I mean, I did notice I was like one of two of the two women in the main cast, but it didn't feel like that. Um, it wasn't, it didn't feel like a, it didn't feel like an unsafe space. Like actually it felt like a very, very safe space. And so, you know, what's beautiful about that is that I didn't notice that. And I actually, now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, how refreshing that it wasn't something I had to think about and, and navigate like, um, um, Gen like my gender uh, like it wasn't about any it, it it wasn't about anything other than like my job the truth um in search for the truth um yeah that was quite refreshing actually thinking about it like at knowing that that I, I I yeah I guess I didn't clock it but I definitely felt that the benefits of it just being about being as good as you can be in this in well for, uh, for Nicole being as good as you can be and doing your job as well as you can and 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 searching for the truth and um accountability mm -hmm. and um justice and equality and safety for and 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 people's dignity um yeah uh, it's it's nice when it's not got anything to do with those other things that people put on us, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I, mm -hmm. I felt the same way. I was like, it was so refreshing. It was so refreshing yeah. to see that. Um, speaking of her journey to find the truth and to seek the truth out, you know, while she's on that, persistent, quite persistent. She is always on the move. I was like, <laughs> this woman is always on the move. Um, you know, her journey to find the truth, how does that change her perspective of the law, the world in which she operates in, the system in which she works in? Yeah, so she had already made a pivot before the show starts. She talks about her time in DC and then she realized that she was on the wrong side. She was part of the side that was putting young black men in prison for minor things to, I mean, the fact that they were targeted even was the issue. And she pivoted to civil rights, to the civil rights office. And um, I, I really appreciate that about her because she's not afraid of the truth she's she will look herself squarely in the eye and 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 she won't lie to herself she knows when she knows the truth she responds she doesn't try to hide it um so yeah her journey is of hope and um and you know ultimately the the for the benefit of the whole community for Baltimore for actually the greater good like if the system is broken is no the system isn't broken the system is working as it should do and the system is skewed against mm. some people and force other people and therefore she wants to break it down and and get it rebuilt to something that works for all people so that's her real, that's her real goal. And um, that becomes her real goal when, you know, when you, when she realizes that this is, this is a symptom, this, what happened in Baltimore is a symptom of this corrupt system that we live in. 
and it's the same, you know, for, I mean, yeah, we, we need to out, you know, I keep saying like, it's like, it's a rot, it's a cancer that needs to be cut out, but actually it's the blood that's in the veins of this country and the system of this country. So what really needs, what really needs to happen. And I would say this country, I actually do believe that this is a global issue. I, I'm Nigerian. We talked, to, we were protesting MSARS. I'm British. We're talking about the, the police there now and how they treat, um, and how they treat us. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's the blood that's running through the veins of it and what needs what we need is a, we need a stem cell transplant. I was going to say. Like, <laughs> we need new fresh blood. Drain that blood. Get that bad yeah. blood out. <laughs> like, yeah. um, have you ever seen like people do cupping, like extreme cupping? I <laughs> like that. It's like, just like get that bad blood out. Um, right. <laughs> but yeah, and I love too the ground that she covers to find the truth, which we don't usually see on screen. We see that she doesn't just go to one, two, three, four sources. She covers the whole gambit. She goes within the system. She go government, police, activists, artists. She really talks to the whole community to get a um, a really good um, and proper sense of the situation that's going on. And I think it's such an admirable quality that she has. Um, she says in the first episode that this was such a good line. When asked by Ahmed if she's angry, Nicole says, sure, but I don't make it my everything. Do you think that sentiment still rings true for her by the end? Um. I think she gets to a point where she's reached it's the the cup will overflow. And so she decides to step away. It's not, um, I don't know where she steps to. I don't think she's, her life is, will ever not be about truth and, and justice and, you know, bending the moral compass to that's been skewed, skewed one way to, to reset it. I don't imagine she would be like, Oh, fuck it. I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't know, not care anymore. (laughs) I don't think even if she did, uh, even if she did became a carpenter, (laughs) I think he would still her heart, and her 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 um her her life outside of whatever artistry she makes with the, her hands would still be, you know. I think her her she would still be fighting for, hoping for, trying to you know make the changes that we need to see, even if it's on a micro level. Mm-hmm you know? Yeah. And I think it's, it's really, really cool for her to see that, make that decision because it's like, she understands this is not a system which she will be able to make that change that she wants to see. Um, Well, she's not completely hopeless either because she doesn't say to Ahmed, like, run, run for the hills. mm -hmm. It's over. It's done. She doesn't say to her, she's like, it's your turn. Mm-hmm. I've done my bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think that is that is the cycle of activism. It is the cycle of like, you know, whether it comes to a natural end or an, an unnatural end where of like um, you know, where some, you know, I mean an untimely end, sorry, or an untimely end. Mm-hmm. There is a cycle where it gets passed on to the next generation to keep keep it going Mm -hmm. and so yeah I think she I think that conversation with Ahmed is very much like it's not over Mm -hmm. I've just done my bit and I've tried and now for my peace and my future and my sanity Mm -hmm. I have to stop because you know the truth is it's like yeah. It's not the it's not the oppressed who are gonna uh, who are gonna stop the oppression. They can fight, 
they can take their freedom, they can take their, you know, they can get their vote, voting rights, but the oppression is still coming. They're still, they're still fighting and things may come, but it, it's for the, those who are oppressing or those who are not affected by the oppression to now help to lift it up. Without, ev- without the community, everyone mm-hmm. who, like, without everyone being invested in everyone else's freedom, without everyone being invested in everyone's safety and peace of mind and peace, mm-hmm. peace, peace, then the oppress the oppressor will will continue, mm-hmm. like, and we will continue continue fighting, but it doesn't stop the pressure. It doesn't stop the pressure. So until people are galvanized together and and invested in everyone else's peace and freedom, like it's it's up to the person who has the new bout of energy to continue the fight. 